Fox host Todd Starn sat down with Alan Colmes, and they spoke about the issue of religious liberty. And I want you to take note here of how quickly Starnes does a total flip-flop on the issue and why it is that he flip-flopped. Absolutely, Let me show you, Alan, me show absolutely. you some statistics here. For example, in this country, 91.8% of Congress is Christian. 91.8%. The number of, of Americans who identify as Christian, 70.6%. Governors, 99% of yeah. governors are Christian. Legislators, state legislators, the people making the rules, the people making the laws are Christian. How can Christians be under attack when so many people in positions of power who make the rules are because, Christian? Because a lot of those lawmakers in Congress and a lot of those governors are spineless rhinos, Republicans in name really? only. Really? All these Absolutely. Christians, are they not really they're Christian? Spineless. Are they not I'm good not Christians? Saying they're, hey, look, I, I, it is not for me to judge a man or a woman's heart. I'm just telling you, when push comes to shove, they will not stand up for religious liberty. Remember back when Indiana and Georgia and Arkansas and Arizona were debating these religious liberty laws sure. to protect Christians? Who was it who capitulated? The Republican governors. That's who did it. As a matter of fact, if you go back to the Supreme Court and look at all of the culture war decisions, Alan, those decisions were made by justices that were appointed to the bench, not by Democrats, but by Republicans. You want liberty for Christians. What about liberty for atheists? What about liberty for gays? What about liberty for Muslims? Muslims are the ones being attacked. There are fewer mosques. They want to shut down the mosque in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. There are people who want to shut down mosques. Hey, look, let me tell you something. You Presbyter they did that to church? The Presbyterians and the Lutherans aren't blowing stuff up. Did I say religious liberty? I mean, fuck that. No religious liberty whatsoever. We're talking about Muslims now? If it's Muslims, fuck you. Take your religious liberty for a hike, son. I want to be able to ban whatever they're going to do. They're blowing shit up. Come on. Come on. The Muslims. They're Muslims. Oh, how backwards is this son of a bitch, man? Let me ask you a question. Do you think he's familiar with any real terrorism statistics in the United States of America? If you prodded him, if you pushed him on that point, oh, really, the Muslims are blowing shit up. Um, let's have a conversation about that. In the past five years, in the past ten years, how many things have uh, Muslims blew up in America? I can't hear you. I hear crickets. How many things have Christians blown up in America? Or uh, right-wingers? Again, I hear fucking crickets. He's fucking clueless. He has no idea what he's talking about. There are endless polls, we covered one on the show about a year ago, uh, that show that the American Muslim community is essentially more moderate than any other community in America, including my people, the atheists and the agnostics and the secular people. It was... Muslims were the number one group that rejected violence against civilians in all cases in the United States of America. And then it was atheists behind them, and then all the way at the bottom, the Christians. They're like, well, violence against civilians, sometimes, maybe. I mean, come on, gotta leave the door open a little bit. Again, I'll go back to the Department of Homeland Security study that I quote all the time, and nobody else seems to fucking talk about it ever, because they don't know about it, because it's not spoken about by anybody else other than me. Uh, 56% of terrorist attacks and attempted terrorist attacks in America are done by uh, conservative extremists. So Sovereign Citizens is the number one example. Uh, they're one of the biggest terrorist, domestic terrorist groups in the U.S. Of course, you have neo-Nazis behind them. There was a cell broken up recently in northern Florida of neo-Nazis, KKK. There's many chapters still all around the U.S. And they, simply put, they do more terrorism in the U.S. than... Uh, Muslims do. In fact, I, I've, over the past year or so, we've covered, what, three, four different attempted terrorist attacks, and some that were successful in the U.S., done by right-wingers, and the media just didn't cover it as terrorism. And that's why an idiot like Todd Starnes believes, uh, when, when he says that, that, no, the Muslims blow shit up, I know they blow shit up, I see it all the time. He really believes what he's saying because he doesn't look at but when a right-wing group does it, or a Christian group does it, like the Phineas movement recently in Texas, he doesn't view it as a terrorism. In his mind, it's, well, that's a one lone nut that's not in any way representative of the rest of the religion. But when it comes to Muslims, you heard him say it right there. Alan Combs is like, they're blocking the building of mosques in America all over the place. And he's like, because they blow shit up. Really? 
Really? So you know the the mosques that were specific that he's specifically referring to. You know that there were people from that mosque who tried to blow shit up. Do you, Todd? No, of course you don't. Of course you don't. And that's the thing. The default assumption for a guy like Todd Starnes is Muslim terrorist. Christian good guy. Muslim terrorist, Christian good guy. He also quoted, he said, uh, he, he kept going on and on about religious liberty. And the example he gave was, well, the, in Indiana, the religious liberty law. The Republicans buckled on that. Because it's not a fucking religious liberty law. What they're asking for is the right to take away the rights of gay people. That ain't religious liberty. What you're doing is you're discriminating against gays. But he's used, that's the only example he can go to for, you know, discrimination against Christians in America. Because there are there isn't discrimination against Christians in America. It, just give you one more example of this. There was a great video recently of Marsha Blackburn, Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn. She was asked, can you give me one example of, you know, Christian persecution in America? Couldn't do it. She's like, well, um, yeah, the, mm, mm, let me get back to you. But again, in the mind of a guy like Todd Starnes, it, you know, there's a threat against religious liberty for Christians, but not for Muslims in America. And meanwhile, I don't, I want to block the building of mosques. So you are taking, you are taking away their religious liberty. As you say, their religious liberty isn't under threat, but yours is, when nobody's stopping you from building churches.